In this video, I'll walk you through the variety of Stack AI user interface options for your agents. We'll cover chatbots, forms, text assistance using SMS, WhatsApp, Slack, and batch file processing, as well as more. Come right this way and I'll show you around. Once you've built out the logic for your app, it's time to give it a user interface. To do this, go to the Export tab. In the top left, you'll see a drop-down button of all of the different options of user interfaces you can choose from. Things like the typical chat assistant, which you might be experienced with, with ChatGPT. Here you can ask simple questions in a chat form, like how many documents do you have access to? And now we can continue to ask questions about this response. One important thing to remember is that anytime you change this user interface option, you need to go to the top right corner and click Save Interface. So you'll see the changes are saved and you're good to go. The next most common option is the form input. Forms allow you to get a specific set of information from your user. For instance, if we go to this other application that is a form input, you can choose from a variety of different inputs that you want to show or not show. Here we can give our user the ability to upload files. We can set different inputs to be required or not. Additionally, you can add other files directly to the workflow if you don't want them to be exposed here in the form interface. Sometimes you want to give your users the ability to run multiple of these form inputs at one time. To do this, you can choose the batch option. The batch option allows you to take a form input like the one we just saw and add additional runs for uploading multiple files. Here we'll add multiple 10k, 10q filings. And when I click run batch, all of these files will be processed in parallel. Once all of your runs are completed, you can scroll through and see all the different responses in the table, referencing citations and the specific file that was used for each run. To download these results, you can click in the ellipsis menu and then select Download CSV. You can also chat with the table to get specific answers for questions that you have about these files and runs. You can also give your end users access to your app directly within Slack, Microsoft Teams, or even from their cell phone, via the WhatsApp SMS integration or directly in their browser. For Slack, you can add the Stack AI app directly into your Slack instance by following these steps. Similarly, you can do the same thing for Microsoft Teams. For WhatsApp and SMS, you can add your Twilio API configuration. And finally, you can integrate Stack AI workflows directly into whatever software you're building using the API interface. Just set the bearer token, which you can show by clicking here, set the content type, and use the appropriate API URL for your workflow and specify the inputs that you've defined in your workflow. We can click run to see this work with a blank input and running the curl. And we can run a test of this in the terminal just to show it's working with my workflow. Good luck building out your user interfaces and let us know if you have any questions in the comments below. That covers it on the different UI interfaces we have. Stick around and join me as I do a deep dive into file systems and knowledge bases.